The Satanic Leaf-Tailed Gecko Satanic leaf-tailed geckos, Europlatus fantasticus, can reach a total length of 9 cm, and its range is in the central eastern side of the African island. The lizard can amazingly mimic a dead leaf, and it can coil its whole body to resemble a curled-up leaf with its tail leaf shape. Its excellent camouflage skills mean it can blend into its natural environment of the rainforest of Madagascar, an exotic island off the east coast of South Africa. Satanic leaf geckos get their name because they look like they have horns, and some specimens have red eyes. Two eggs are laid and hatch after 60 to 70 days. Geckos are one of Madagascar's most unique species, as they sleep flattened against trees and branches, with their heads pointing downwards. They can adjust their body coloration to their surroundings. When at rest laying down on a mossy or lichen-covered branch, geckos are almost impossible to see. The gecko is a master at disguise. Its large eyes help this nocturnal species hunt its prey. Large mouths are capable of tackling oversized prey. Inactive during the day, geckos move only when disturbed. They respond to prodding with an impressive display of a brightly colored gaping mouth and an erect tail. And at night, the lizards hunt insects. The Thorny Devil The thorny devil is a diurnal, day-active reptile reaching 20 centimeters in length. It's covered in thorny spines and sports a pretend head on the back of its neck, which is thought to warn off predators. Their gait is also remarkable. Tail lifted, they walk along with slow jerky movements backwards and forwards. This might be a defense mechanism to confuse predators when they are spotted in the open. How do these lizards survive in water-parched arid Australia? During the night, dew condenses on their bodies, and in the morning they brush up against dew-covered grass. Then the hygroscopic, moisture-attracting grooves between their scales channel this water to their mouths. The same process occurs when it rains. Their range covers most of arid Australia, large parts of Western Australia, the southern half of the Northern Territory, South Australia, and Western Queensland. They live in dry sand country, Spinifex grasslands and scrub. Stonefish The world's most venomous fish is a close relative to the scorpion fishes, known as the stonefish. Through its dorsal fin spines, the stonefish can inject a venom that is capable of killing an adult person in less than an hour. In nature, the stonefish does not use its venom to capture prey but instead to avoid predation. The venom is extremely painful and is quite effective at turning away even the strongest potential predators. Stonefish are masters of camouflage and can blend in so perfectly with their surroundings that their prey, predators, and even human scuba divers have trouble seeing them at all. They almost always sit perfectly still on the seafloor, in their preferred habitat of coral and rocky reefs, and their colors are often a perfect match for the substrate. Some individuals have even been observed with algae growing on them. While this camouflage gives them further protection from predators, its primary purpose is to allow stonefish to ambush their prey. They eat other reef fishes and some bottom-dwelling invertebrates. But they do not actively pursue these animals. Instead, they wait for dinner to come to them. Waiting for hours at a time, stonefish strike when their potential prey is less than their body length away. Their powerful jaws and large mouths create so much pressure that they are easily able to suck down their unsuspecting prey and swallow it whole. Devil's Flower Mantis The Devil Flower Mantis is a species of large praying mantis found among wildflowers of eastern Africa. The scientific name of the Devil's Flower Mantis is Idolomantis diabolica, the sole species of its genus and it's from the family Epusade, a family of mantises. Devil's flower mantises grow to be roughly 10 to 13 centimeters, 4 to 5 inches in length, with the females generally larger than the males, and they are among the largest of all praying mantises. Devil's flower mantises are also known as giant devil's flower mantises, and they have a lifespan of around one year. While an adult can assume the appearance of a flower, a young devil's flower mantis is brown and appears to be a dead leaf. 
causing it to be camouflaged in its surroundings. Devil's flower mantises have a diet consisting of flying insects like butterflies, flies, beetles, and moths, and the prey is snatched from midair by the mantis if the insects come too close. Female devil's flower mantises produce a number of foam-like capsules of eggs, out of which between 10 to 50 nymphs hatch after approximately 50 days. Devil's flower mantises are popularly sought after as exotic pets. However, they do not thrive in captivity and are quite expensive. Sand Devil Sand Devil The Sand Devil, or Atlantic Angel Shark, is a species of angel shark, family Squatinidae, native to the northwestern Atlantic Ocean. It occurs off the eastern United States, in northern Gulf of Mexico and possibly in parts of the Caribbean Sea. This bottom-dwelling shark is found in shallow inshore waters in summer and fall, and deep offshore waters in winter and spring. The Sand Devil's flattened body and enlarged pectoral and pelvic fins give it a ray-like appearance. There is a band of enlarged thorns running along the middle of its back. It is gray or brown in color with scattered small dark spots. This species reaches 1.2 to 1.5 meters, 3.9 to 4.9 feet in length. The diet of the sand devil consists mainly of small teleost fishes and squid, which are captured via ambush attack. These species are viviporous, with the unborn young nourished by their yolk sacs. Females have a multi-year reproductive cycle and give birth to 4 to 25 pups in spring or early summer, following a 12-month gestation period. The sand devil is not aggressive but may attempt to bite if harassed or captured. Though not valued economically, it is caught incidentally by commercial bottom trawl fisheries. Anglerfish The angry-looking deep-sea anglerfish has a right to be cranky. It is quite possibly the ugliest animal on the planet, and it lives in what is easily the Earth's most inhospitable habitat, the lonely, lightless bottom of the sea. There are more than 200 species of anglerfish, most of which live in the murky depths of the Atlantic and Antarctic Oceans, up to a mile below the surface, although some live in shallow tropical environments. Generally dark gray to dark brown in color, they have huge heads and enormous crescent-shaped mouths filled with sharp translucent teeth. Some anglerfish can be quite large, reaching 3.3 feet in length. Most, however, are significantly smaller, often less than a foot. Their most distinctive feature, worn only by females, is a piece of dorsal spine that protrudes above their mouths like a fishing pole, hence their name. Tipped with a lure of luminous flesh, this built-in rod baits prey close enough to be snatched. Their mouths are so big and their bodies so pliable, they can actually swallow prey up to twice their own size. Tasmanian Devil Tasmanian Devil, stocky carnivorous marsupial with heavy forequarters, weak hindquarters, and a large squarish head. The Tasmanian Devil is named for the Australian island state of Tasmania, its only native habitat. Vaguely bear-like in appearance and weighing up to 12 kilograms, 26 pounds, it is 50 to 80 centimeters, 20 to 31 inches long, and has a bushy tail about half that length. The coat is mainly black, and there is a whitish breast mark. Sometimes the rump and sides are white marked as well. Gaping jaws and strong teeth, along with its husky snarl and often bad temper, result in this devilish expression. It is mainly a scavenger feeding on carrion, such as roadkill and dead sheep. The larvae of certain beetles are a major source of live food, but it's also been known to attack poultry. The Tasmanian Devil became extinct on the Australian mainland thousands of years ago, possibly following the introduction of the dingo. In 1996, the number of Tasmanian Devils living on Tasmania was estimated to be more than 150,000. From 1996 to 2007, however, this figure dwindled by more than 50%. The basking shark is the second largest fish in the world, and like the largest fish, the whale shark, and the largest animal, the great whales. Basking sharks are filter feeders that eat tiny plankton prey, reaching lengths of 40 feet, 12 meters, 
and resembling predatory sharks in appearance. The Baskin shark can give an intimidating impression, but they are quite harmless. They spend most of their time near the surface, swimming with their extraordinarily large mouths open, filtering out their preferred prey, but they may also make deeper, feeding dives. Though they are quite large, there are gaps in scientists' knowledge of their life history characteristics because they have very large individual home ranges and do not stay in any one place for longer than a couple of months. After centuries of targeted fishing around Europe, the basking shark is considered vulnerable to extinction. While several countries have given them some or complete legal protection, legal fisheries still exist in other places. Occasionally, basking sharks are captured unintentionally in their fisheries. Shark scientists still have much work to do in order to find out more information about the life history, biology, and ecology of these giant fish. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and push that notification button to be the first who will see new awesome videos. New awesome